All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with episode six of the Vanguard character of Mass Effect. Got to give the video a sec here to render. I don't know why that happened, but it did on this video, so that's okay. I made sure the video did render, but like I said, some of the content is missing in this. Like, you missed some stuff, like you missed me getting the other crime lord, and um, you missed why I'm here. I believe this is one of the planets in the Armstrong Nebula. For um, taking out Geth outposts. I'll have to see. But this was one of the planets that was giving me trouble. That kept crashing my um, graphics card. Cover me. There's nothing to cover you from. Where the fuck is it? I know it's here. There it is. Oh. There we go. Okay. And then what's over here? We'll have to find out. Oh, this is the Odd Skull. What's interesting about this planet is what people like to do is they like to bring animals from uh, other worlds onto this planet and then let them fight. Like in a um, Colosseum kind of deal. That's why that odd skull is there. <laughs> Dude, if we lived in this type of a universe, I could totally see people doing that, you know? I myself wouldn't do it, but I could see other people doing it, you know, because they're bored. There's nothing to secure, Tally. There we go. Yep, I thought so. We're going after the Geth Outpost in the Armstrong Nebula. Or the Armstrong Cluster, or whatever, you know. But before we do, we're going to get this ore. And you can see I had trouble with this, too. Because you can't land slanted. You can't leave the Mako slanted. Okay. And now we're going to go down and we're going to kill all the Geth here. Which isn't going to be hard to do at all. You just come down here, you shoot their little turrets and get to the outpost. There it is. There we go. I know it seems insignificant. Oh, you're just shooting turrets. Well... The turrets are worth experience, you know? And in this game, you want the experience. See, and I'm maxing out Spectre training, so... Oh, I know what happened. I bumped my um, USB hub and everything DC'd because of it. That's what happened there. Now, I went to Dollar General. I love 7-Up. And I think a lot of that's got to do with my grandma. But here's the first D 
death outpost. But a lot of that had to do with my grandma. She always had 7-Up, and that's all she ever drank. And so, um... I, I don't know. I just think a lot of that is childhood. But anyway, I go to Dollar General. They had no 7-Up and no Sprite. And they barely had any, um... They barely had any, um... Zero a mist. Alright, so we got that done. And now we're going to head over to the next outpost on the next planet. There's five, there's four outposts in a main. And it's here in the Armstrong cluster, so... Like I said, you missed some of it because I was having trouble with the recordings and all that, so... And it really pissed me off, too, because I, I hate doing things half ass you know? I want to do this to the best of my ability, and I want to show the whole game and not have any trouble and all that, so... But, you know, I, I just gotta work with what I've got, so... Okay, we got all that. Now we just need to... I don't know why there's no shortcut to go back to ship. You have to go all the way out to the galaxy map and then exit the galaxy map. In the original version, there was a shortcut, but not in this one. And I, I don't know why. I don't know why they why Bioware decided to take that out. I, I don't understand it. There was a mod in the original where you could cut this out. Where it would just start you on the planet when you chose it. This is another one of those planets that I really hate because it's really hard to uh, travel in. You really gotta know the terrain and you really gotta know how to get to the places and all that shit, so... That's why I cut out the driving, because there are some times you have to, like, really bust your balls to get to where you're going. So... I think this is one of them I end up having a really tough time getting to. It's like, get the fuck up there. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, this is the, like, um... I don't know what the geth were doing here. Like setting up an information network or some shit, I don't know, but... For the longest time, I thought this was just, oh, you just come here to kill... Um... You come here just to kill geth. Kill enemies, you know? 
But no, come to find out, you can turn off this like network setup deal that they've got here. Transmitter, that's what you do. You turn off the transmitter. So you turn off the Geth Gethcom here, and I, I never knew you could do that. In the original, you would come up here, and it wouldn't even give you the option to do that. And so I don't know if it was a glitch in the original or what, but... But here we go, the second outpost, second of five, well, four, and then the fifth will be the main base. That it? Okay, then we fight the dropship. Is that what we fight here? Yep, it's what we fight here. To cheese this guy, you just back up to this hill, and you just keep shooting him with the missiles. He'll eventually fly away like a little bitch. One more hit and he'll fly away. That's yep. Well, let's get the next okay, now we just need to kill these bastards and then we'll go. Okay, and that's it for this one. But I do like... I love mouse and keyboard for this game. I, I really do. I'm much more accurate with a mouse when it comes to shooting. I, I totally am. I totally am. I don't know why I left the galaxy map. I might have hit the button by accident. I'm not sure. That's the one we land on now, Searcher. There you go. Don't be like me the first time I played this game and skip over the asteroid belts. I kind of remember when this game first came out. Everybody I knew was confused about it because they didn't understand the whole choose your own adventure kind of deal. I mean, they kind of understood it with Fable, but this is totally different from Fable. You know, if that if they're gonna remake any other games from the past, that should be one they remake is Fable. And do it with this engine, you know? Where you can import your character from one to two and then two to three, you know. Well, three it kinda makes sense because you're the child of the original hero. So, um or no, you're the child from two. That's right. That's right. 
another game I wouldn't mind them remaking that I think would be great if they put it on this engine would be Bully. That game would be awesome if they remade that with this uh, with this engine for a choose your own adventure. So you can um, choose whether to be a good student or a bully, you know? Oh shit! Another Thresher Maw! Another Thresher Maw! I thought I'd killed them all, but apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, I'm nowhere near the tentacles. And yet, it's still chasing me. So what the fuck's going on here? Oh, we got him. <laughs> and we leveled up too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Then we get fitness up, I believe. Yes, we do. And we start with shotguns with Tally. That's right. Okay. All right. So now we come in here to a Prothean ruin. Wonder what this was for. Who knows? But we'll find out. At a data disk. Okay. Get some more debris. And this is another one that I kind of don't understand why they did this, but for some damn reason, if you get close to the base like this, your um, radar jams. So it's just easier just to take out the base first. Here comes another dropship. Dropping more of their little bitches. This is why you kill all your enemies. Okay, I must have got the debris off 
camera, so... Trying to save time, I, I think. I, that's my guess, so... So here we go to the next star system. Here in the Armstrong Nebula. I, I thought it was Nebula. I, I, I couldn't remember if it was Nebula or Cluster or... Yep, it's Nebula. The planet Junther kind of reminds me of Junin from um, Final Fantasy VII. The name does. <laughs> So we deal with this last outpost. Okay. The next spot, we get a twofer here. We're going to get this ore, and then we're going to head on to the outpost. You know, they missed the opportunity to let you mine this ore, and let you um, make your own, like, weapons, and or weapon upgrades, or something. You know? Okay. Yeah, and I thought I cut it out. Okay. This one's the easiest one to get to. You just follow the beacons. Okay. Looking to see if there's anything we can open. I don't think so. There's one. Okay. So, why would the Geth have human, like, lockers and stuff? Makes you wonder if Saren was here and helping them set up. Shotgun time. If 
do you get lift up high enough, um, you can do multiple enemies with a single lift. Negative contacts, Commander. Yeah, if I remember right, yeah, that's how that works. Somebody opened that door and it wasn't me. But oh well. Okay, so I did get Spectre weapons for everybody. That's why I'm doing so much damage now. It's because I got Spectre weapons for everyone. Perimeter secured. All right. We were just looking for items. You got to kill all the husks, and then you come back out here. Leave your hacked enemies alone. They'll fight for you. That's why I hacked the destroyer. Because I wanted the destroyer to kill the Goombas for me. Alright, we head back outside so we can get back to the Normandy. Oh, there's a locker I can open. Oh, we got us a drop ship. Throw your ass off the cliff. Throw your ass off the cliff. Quit shooting the damn Mako Rex, asshole. of operations. Hold on. This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside the star cluster. You think? The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Good idea, Rex. That's what we'll end up doing. For some reason in this version, you have to be in the Mako to get back to the Normandy. I don't know why, but you, you have to. In the original, as long as you were standing outside and there were no enemies, you could get back to the Mako. But in this one, you actually have to be in the Mako to get back to the Normandy.
it's the moon that we're gonna land on. That's why I don't check it right now. So I can get the rocky asteroid first. Excuse me. I don't know why, but it's just so they gone dry. I need to get another filter for my um, humidifier. That's another thing I need to buy, too. I was gonna say, I better be hitting that Colossus. You know? Because I could see that bullshit happening of, oh, since the HP's not on screen, it doesn't count as a hit, you know? Did we get them all? It looks like it. No, we didn't. We did there. We max out charm. And again, I do that more for the store discounts than anything, so. So I can make the specter weapons cheaper. Because <laughs> I'm a cheap bastard. Okay. the juggernaut.
There we go. Here, crate. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so we download some data that um, gives insight to um, the Quarians' banishment from their own home planet. And there's nothing up here. And I think that is the dumbest thing. There's nothing up here. So, it looks like we're going to go back to the ship. Okay, after that quest, you go down and talk to Tally. And I think that's what we're going to do here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go down and talk to Tally. to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Alright, since Sally worked so hard for me, I figured she could be rewarded, you know? So what are we doing here? Oh, so I can put the new armor on. Gears. Okay. You said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. You're her sister, I assume? Until I get home and kill her. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? Liara. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. That's cold. Liara, because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? 
So, you are interested in her? Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did, Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails, and I'd tell her to relax. The male pursues the female. That's their nature. In the genes. Yeah, that is true. They're gonna keep their genes on around my sisters. Unless they want to get up close and personal with pruning shears. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Did anything happen while you were home? My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk and there's blood everywhere. She cracked him in the face. Good. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Yeah. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly, have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Wow. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. I don't know why, but in this game they give Ashley sort of a dykish haircut.
I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Yes, I do. Where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You can't argue with results. Yeah, that's true. There are consequences. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as a bully. You run over anyone who gets in your way. Well, they shouldn't get in our way then. You to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. And now I had to think there. Yeah. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? No. You were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You, I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's, let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye, Liara. <laughs> it looks like Shepard wants to get a crack at some blue pussy. Here's what he wants. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. We're going to the Voyager cluster, it looks like. Yep. Thank you. 
بتاعت ايه ده All right, so what are we looking for here? Is this the, um, I think this is the Cerberus mission where we go to the Cerberus bases. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking so. Now I start cutting out the um, ore collection because it's just, you get money and credits. So, you know, I should have probably cut out all this collection too. In future video, in the future characters, I will cut out the collections and just go straight to the important points. We leveled up, so we got Spectre Training maxed. We're going for Lift to get it um, advanced. We have Immunity ad advanced. And shotguns, are we going to go for carnage? We are. All right. We shoot that bastard in the head. This is where I start realizing, hey dummy, use barrier, you know? Wham! So now we got a new full circle. Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Shepard. And so now we're gonna go to the other ones. Thank <laughs> you. 
See, that's why I like putting barrier on the hot bar. Because I could just hit a key and just put it on. You're supposed to wait till after Pharos to come here. There's one more hiding. He's right here. Boom. Let's head to that next base, Shepard. This is my kind of mission. Oh, we're gonna go, man. So, yeah, you do full circle here because you get a bunch of items in the original version of this on the PC version. There was a mod where it would make it so where you couldn't do this quest until much later, but you would get much more powerful items that weren't part of the game. That were actually part of the beta of the game. Hey, we got new quarry in armor. Which I believe I did equip on, uh, Tally. Got it. Some payback. All right. Clear. There's Admiral Koku. Shepherd, over there. But come to find out. I guess Cerberus found him after all. So come to find out, Cerberus had given Admiral Kohoku the um, lethal injection. For blabbing about their secret. Wasn't there a main facility around here? I guess not.
Oh, it's in the Columbia system. Okay, so it's not here. Okay. I thought it was on this planet, but nope, it's not. It's not. All right. Not much collection here. But I did keep in this ore, it looks like. Don't know why, but I did. What the fuck are we? Are we playing Nickelodeon Guts? Where we have to climb the frickin' aggro crag just to get to the prize? <laughs> There, I cut the, some of the driving out. Okay, good. That's what we need on TV. We need it shows where they're doing physical activities. You know, that's what I miss of the 90s. 90s Nickelodeon. Because they had, like, Nickelodeon Guts. They had Finders Keepers. Uh, Double Dare. Um, Nick Arcade. They did a few physical things. Um, God, there's another show, too. Um, Wild and Crazy Kids. Wild and Crazy Kids, yep. I do know a few years ago they found Jessica Gaines from um, Wild and Crazy Kids. They had interviewed her. Um, God, what? She, she was doing something. I can't remember what, but um, she was saying that she loved Wild and Crazy Kids. That had to have been fun. That had to have been a fun show to do, man. Wild and Crazy Kids, being one of the hosts, you know, Jessica Gaines, Omar Gooding, and uh, Johnny Deathcoat. That show had to have been so much fun to do, you know. Same with Double Dare, it had to have been fun. I mean, yeah, they talked with Mark Summers, and um, wow, the Predator. 
armor is way better. Okay. But um, I know they talked to Mark Summers years ago about that, and um, he was saying that it was actually a nightmare for him because of his um, OCD. Oh, the brawler's better. Hey, stupid. Put the brawler on Tally. But man, as a kid, I used to watch Wild and Crazy Kids and all those other shows on Nickelodeon, and I always wanted to be part of those shows. I, I always thought it'd been fun. I mean, I don't think I'd have been any good at the games, but, you know, I mean, hell, I, I would have loved to play them. Double Day was the one I wanted to be part of the most. What would you do was kind of fun. I was uh, I wasn't quite old enough for that show, but I was too old for Nick Jr. Cuz that was around the time Nick Jr started becoming a thing during the day with face. <laughs> I saw I swear the other day I saw somebody with a face shirt from Nick Jr. I, I swear they had a shirt on and they had face from Nick from Nick Jr. It was awesome. At least here we're not looking for blues clues. <laughs> we are looking for blues clues. We are looking for blues clues. We are looking for blues clues. I wonder where they are. <laughs> you know, I got my little brother to watch that when he was got he was just starting to talk. He was, he was like three or four and he was just starting to talk, you know. Two or three or how, I can't remember exactly how old he was. He's just starting to talk, and um, I had found some old episodes of it, and so I let him watch it, and he would yell a clue, a clue, yo. Know? Armageddon it. <laughs> Armageddon it. <laughs> Armageddon it. Thank you. 
Then I checked Hallie's armor again. And yep, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. We'll definitely take it. <laughs> nice. God, talking about Blue's Clues? Now I got the stupid mail song stuck in my head. Mail time, mail time, mail time, mail time, mail time! Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail mail! <laughs> I don't know what I wanted to do here. I think I just wanted to max out um, Rex's um, biotic abilities. And it's the same here. I want to do Tally's um, tech abilities, which gives you a bonus to her abilities. Like it reduces, like her AI hacking reduces the recharge rate of um, sabotage. Overload and um, damping. Okay, so I think I finish up in this, um, I think I finish up here in this, um, in this galaxy, I guess, or wherever I am, or star system, or whatever. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. If you know something about Cerberus, you'd better tell me. I suspect I know less about Cerberus than you do. I am merely an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kohoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Your deal died with Kohoku. Why should I help you? The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were a reasonable man, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Hey, not, not a bad deal to have the Shadow Broker on your side. The Voyager Cluster, that's where we're at. I think I know what this one is. But we'll have to see if I'm right. Incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable. Yep, I, this is the one, yep. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. And this is a problem, why? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Just because I saved Eden Prime doesn't make me an expert on nuclear munitions. 
I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out. See, because Shepard's a Spectre, the Alliance wants to use him as a cleanup guy. From all the bad stuff they did during the First Contact War. All right, what are we looking for here? Some um, couple things and that's it. Oh, I'm driving my life away. I never loved it any. <laughs> looking for a better way, that's how it went. Oh, me. It's funny that song. Um, we were, me and my dad and my stepmom were at a store. I can't remember what store it was, but um, it was around summertime, and they were selling uh, go karts. It was like a sporting goods store, or something. I, I can't remember, but they were selling go karts, and we had seen them. And this song, that song was playing, and my dad was like, was singing to it. He was, I was saying, "Oh, it'd be cool if I had a go kart," and he's like, "Yeah, it would be cool." Then I could put your stepmom in it, and then I could be like, oh, I'm driving my wife away. I never loved her anyway. Oh, me. <laughs> yeah. The signal's coming from a mine? This smells... No shit. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. No shit. That's what the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Right.
No! That was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <laughs> you think? Shepard, at last. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. See if there's anything in here we can use. <laughs> Alright. So, in the original version, that guy was a human. And his name was Elias. Not Eli er, Elias. And, um, in the beta version, it was a Turian named Elanus. And in the original version on PC, there was a um, there was a mod to make it like this. Well, this is the mod. They included it in the Legendary Edition. Which I think it fits so much better than the original version. But that was easy. You just disable the three hard points and... Then you get the hell out of here, you know? You go top side and then you um, go down here and you shove your foot up his ass. If you were a um, infiltrator, you could use your sniper rifle and pick them off one by one. All right, now we just need to get back into the Mako. Alanis, Elliot was nice enough to drive it here. And so now we go back to the Normandy. Do we do one more mission? I think so. I think so. Yep, we do. We do. What mission we doing now? I know what one we're doing. We're gonna turn in the um, quest for Helena Blake. Again, sorry you missed the me taking out the other Prime Lord, but I was having trouble with the recordings of this game, so... I do apologize for that.
Again, I don't know why I left the ore on this one, but I did. Standing on top of the Mako. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say, I better have cut out the driving on this. I did. Okay. And the thunder rolls. Da, da, da. Now I gotta listen to that song. Now I got that song stuck in my head. I gotta listen to that one too. You know, I, I don't know why, but when I was a kid, everyone I knew listened to Garth. My whole family listened to Garth Brooks. My whole family did. And I, all, I try to figure out, what made Garth Brooks so special? I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad singer. He totally was a great singer. And he's still alive, but, you know, he's a great singer. Just I, I'm trying to figure out what set him apart from all the other country music stars. Like, Randy Travis had that, like, deep voice. Um... <laughs> Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Those men deserve to die. Now are we going to have a problem? Not if I can help it, Commander. I hope you can see that I am by far a lesser evil than those men. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. There will be no drugs and no slave-taking for the Batarians. Those days are over. I'm giving you one chance to live through this. Shut this gang down. I cannot believe you place such a high priority on stopping such petty, victimless crimes. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? I was offering life, not freedom. Come along peacefully or I will take you down. A pity. Neutralize the Spectre! Gotta shoot down the barrier. One more shot. There we go. Throw your ass. Uh. Warp you. Uh. There, we got him. Okay, and the last one I think is upstairs. I'm thinking upstairs. Yep, there she is. She's a biotic. So, it looks like I'm going to max out lift, I'm thinking. Or no, I just advanced it. That's all I did. And you? I, I'm trying to figure out the best move here. And yeah, I think I max out all Rex's biotics. 
And I know I do that for Tally, so max out her um, tech abilities. So that, I believe, is going to be the end. Yep, it's going to be the end. So all I do is just some item cl collection here. So um, I'm just going to end the video here. So hope you all had fun. Um, you know, this was a pretty good video. So I will see you all on Episode 7.